What's going on guys, JFC here. Trophy Titans is here and um, we are seeing the cheapest icons and heroes that we've ever seen. And the market is reacting accordingly to that right now. Something that just none of us expected. I'll show you guys the pack weight here in a second because it's actually insane how many of these cards are being packed right now compared to kind of what we thought was going to happen and what usually happens with icons being in promos. If you guys don't want to deal with trading at all, you guys can go to the link in my description. Go to u7buy.com. They're a fast and very, very reliable coin service. 5% tax is also covered. You can use my code JFC at checkout for a 5% discount. Thank you to U7Buy for sponsoring the video. Now let's get back to it. But first today, content. We finally got that uh, Guedes SBC, the road to the final Benfica player, which we should have had uh, three months ago. But we did finally get it. It's a decent card. The links are a little bit tough, but uh, it's pretty cheap and it's a very good card. So I don't mind it at all. Shooting is there. 94 shot power is great. Pace is there. Dribbling is fine. Nothing too crazy, but the requirements very, very easy. We're talking 84 rated. Yeah, but is 84 rated squad the 87 plus fifa world cup or fantasy foot hero also uh refresh now just beware we have a big gamble pack on the way soon unless you have a ton of fodder that you can put into the next icon gamble pack that's coming out soon uh if you guys have not seen that we'll talk about that too in a sec here then i would probably stay away from this one and then i think the next one's going to be better so just as a reminder i'd probably stay away from that one now we got a new icon sbc today and this card is actually pretty crazy we got roy keen and four star weak foot is great 511 medium high great for just a perfect cdm basically only thing that sucks is you can only play center mid i don't know why that is that kind of sucks but everything else here is really great this is basically like a mini patrick Vieira, honestly 83 pace the reaction to composure are there 97 base interceptions 99 base aggression i mean this card is going to be really annoying to play against i'll tell you that right now swerve passes and flare passes trait because just why not this card is definitely worth it if you need a cdm like only an 88 rated squad 86 84 he's going to link to your team no matter what but um, honestly, it's a great SPC. I think that's a huge W. But then we knew the objective, um, Dennis Bergkamp was on the way, right? And we actually did get the objective Dennis Bergkamp today. And I do think even though the card isn't as juiced as like it probably could have been, it's just like the downgraded Bergkamp. Uh, then there's the upgraded one that's in packs right now. It's still a very good card, all things considered. The, the shooting is going to be great. This really is a really nice cam. And the reason it is worth it um, is because you actually are going to get the base Bergkamp for just playing five matches. So you're going to get an 87 braided fodder card and you're also going to get the prime bird camp along with this so because you get all that together i actually think this is kind of worth it if you didn't get those i would say it's less likely because that card isn't like insane i wish you gave him five star weak foot like his other card has but you actually get good packs involved with this too you know 383 284 81 11 there's some good packs in there and he just you know it just rewards you for grinding something different so i appreciate that and even if you don't end up using that bird camp you're gonna get a ton of packs back plus a 93 rated fodder card and a 92 rated fodder card if you guys want to like grind out all of that i think it will be worth it um yeah it's it's not as good of a card as I was hoping for, to be honest, but um, I still think it's pretty good. So now let's look at this insane supply on the market because it's, it is actually insane. So let's just go and look at Philip Lom first and foremost. I can't type. Let's look at Philip Lom. He has one card that's a little bit downgraded, right? He has one card that is extremely juiced out, but both are actually better than his prime, right? Look at how many of these Philip Lom cards are on the market. I mean, this is insane. There has never been an icon supply like this ever. I'm talking, you have to get to, what was it, page six to get to 10 minutes? And there, this is a glitch because we're at one minute and all of a sudden we were at 12 there so that's this isn't even right this is just a glitch and here's a 93 rated card which is actually even better than that one and this one has a decent amount of supply too i mean this card is actually insane i gave him a four star skill moves boost as well high high i mean this card is nuts it's only 500 and some k and look at the supply of him i mean this is this is insane the crazier one is roberto carlos to me roberto carlos has five star skills they gave him and this card is literally one of the best left backs in the game and look at the supply on roberto carlos his prime has has just dipped massively because of this car getting released any of the cards that were released today completely crashed pretty much every other version of said card i mean this landon donovan hero card this one is actually the worst of all of them i think this card is crazy good it's the same exact links there's so many of this card it's this is a great card it's better than this world cup hero card but like plus ones and plus twos great card all the way around his world cup card is down to thirty-seven thousand coins and literally two hours ago i'm filming this video pretty uh early on compared to usual so literally a few hours ago his car was above a hundred thousand coins he is now 30k 
because this card came out and the supply is insane on these Trophy Titans cards. Oh my god, an even worse one actually, Iker Casillas. Let's look at his um, Trophy Titans icon card. Look at the supply on Iker Casillas. I mean, it's actually insane. We're, we're not even to a minute. We got to one minute at page three. That's literally unheard of. I mean, there's no icon card that's ever been supplied this much. And then look at his Prime's price. I should just look on Fupin here. He's 136k right now. Three hours ago, this card was 344,000 coins. I mean, just RIP. If you had any of these cards, you couldn't have really seen this coming. And what usually happens is you actually can buy these cards beforehand when you know they're getting another promo card because people tend to panic sell and then a new card comes out and it actually ends up being more expensive than people think. So you can actually make coins off kind of like buying the worst versions of cards that are coming out, right? Um, this time you literally are in the tank. And because of that, the market is in the tank right now in some areas, right? In some areas, uh, buying your team actually was still the move. Mbappe's 533. He's the same price. And Okocha and Ginola. I don't know where Ginola was. He was on here somewhere. They actually went up. And like, they're, they're doing fine still. But the high-end stuff. I mean, the he base hero. Or sorry, the World Cup hero Lucio. World Cup hero Yaya Toure. Every single version of any icon you see here is in the tank. It's literally in the tank. And honestly, like, there's just no way to have predicted this. We know that when EA have icons and heroes and promos, it's like impossible to pack these guys. World Cup heroes were so rare. Team of the Year icons were even more rare. And now Trophy Titans literally are even better than those versions and people are packing them like crazy so unfortunately it's just an ea thing where they just decided to make the pack way good for whatever reason they just decided to i think it's because team of the season's on the way soon they want people to spend fifa points prior to team of the season if they see the icons are more accessible you're maybe more likely to spend fifa points prior to it you know del piero's 5.5 five. he's only 2.1 mil 5.5 five with these stats usually that's double this price with this market only 2.1 mil right now and these cards came out a few hours ago he's gonna go down further in a little bit these prices are insane they are literally Literally insane and because of this this changes a lot on the outlook of the market it really does i think when the whole market catches up to what's going on here it's gonna go down more it's gonna go down more honestly i would not be shocked if this this sunday sell-off is actually worse than usual because sen bird camp lom torres looks crazy del piero rio ferdinand all these cards are so good and they're gonna be cheap they're going to be even cheaper than they are now. Of course, they could just all of a sudden stop supplying these cards. That That's possible. EA make the packway great for one day and change that. But that's a little bit unlikely in my opinion. So I think these cards just have room to drop even further. And because of that, the rest of the market probably is going to drop. And we also have a Trophy Titans team too. You're going to have Trophy Titans that are better than Prime Icons and more packed than any other version of Icons or Heroes. The long-term outlook for the market has gone down the tank. I'm not a fan of being in like anything anymore. Honestly, I'm not. The quicker you can sell your team after after this weekend like i think the better it might be okay during this course of this week i think once team two hits team of the season's not that far away then we have a team of the season crash we have a pre-tots crash every year i mean it's just not looking good it, it, i'm gonna be honest it is not looking good anymore and fodder because of that also is going down because people are opening more packs are seeing they're more accessible the pack weight in general is just probably higher right now right so because of that we're seeing things fall again in terms of the fodder prices also i still think fodder is a good buy i do i think even with the drop more i still think you can buy right now we have a pretty big leaked pack and if you guys have not seen yet is right here the 90 plus prime icon team of the year icon or F birthday icon which it should make fodder rise probably only gonna make a couple ratings rise because ea do ea things they're very good at that not having the entire fodder market rise and they kind of make you buy everything to try and chase the profit so i think 88s and below club stocking still good i do believe so i think especially the high the lower end if you've done the lower end club stocking like like 83 is being discard i don't think they'll reach the 2000 2500 coin heights that they were at one point but i think they'll reach 13 1500 coins again like why not so i think club stocking those is a good idea just get fodder in your club i do think it's going up but this like whole market in itself just threw a giant wrench into basically everything that everyone thought was going to happen i mean we've never ever in fifa history seen icons this accessible ever i mean look at this michael sdn this sdn i'm telling you i love sdn in fifa and this card 86 pace 91 defending 91 physical for like less than 500,000 coins there's there's no way that this price doesn't affect the rest of the market and ea are clearly ea are clearly trying to make the market drop because there's no way they make these this i mean look at that trophy titans hero lucio was like three 
3 million coins basically and the supply on him in just a few hours is insane look at this four full pages is just not what we're used to seeing at all on these types of expensive cards so the plans have changed we'll just say that also we know that where we were thinking that eafc is probably going to release a little bit sooner this year but sheriff says here contrary to some news here on twitter the eafc will be released already in august it will be released on 29th of september so it looks like it's not coming very early this year at all in fact it's coming at like the exact same time as usual heard that there will be a different kind of early access this year so i don't know what that means there's the ea trial and then there's also the pre-order early access we'll see if that changes this year the ea trial is always kind of like a weird thing to me and then you got the pre-order bonus which is like a couple days uh, ahead of time too looks like it's gonna come out the same time as usual which is kind of disappointing not gonna lie but of course there are conflicting reports so we'll just have to wait and see i guess for official confirmation but i love you all i'll see you in the next video very very soon peace